have this thing where I kind of in the mood to play me some Okami, but the problem is, in order for me to play me some Okami, I need to play me some Okami, which is a bit difficult considering that I haven't played me some Okami in a long while, so at least it's better to do it now whilst, you know, doing it now. That didn't make any sense whatsoever, but I'm sure you get what I mean. Welcome back to another episode of Okami. In the last episode, we went back to Kumiki Village after exploring all that there is out in the fields. And in this episode, we are going to be seeing how Mr. Orange is. Or maybe seeing how Sakura is in her area, you know, because she wasn't up there by the tree, which was a bit strange. We did bloom all these nice trees on the way over there. Oh, it's nighttime already. Just get out of here, nighttime. We don't need to hear about you at all. We're just gonna check out Mr. Orange. I don't think he's doing that well. Actually, hold on. As mentioned previously, during the night, things you can find in the ground can be dug up. Traveler's Charm. Did I never pick that up? Wow. Because I picked it up in previous playthroughs, so I think I noticed it. But, oh well. Because I've, I've had, of course, there's the initial playthrough done on the Wii version, which I have not touched in a long while. Then I've got the HD version on here, as well as Steam. So I've basically I had two practice files, and of course Mr. Orange isn't here, because he is a mystery. And let's just check that, I almost pressed minus. Good thing I remembered. So what I am going to do right now is something that I didn't seem to do before, which is find a treasure chest accidentally. Okay, cool, I suppose. Exism slip. Slightly damaged, whatever. Uh, we don't want it to be night, so let's just draw the sun in the sky. Hopefully it brightens the world. There it does. Because that's the thing that I... Oh, no, I already did do it. Okay, I was going to say, like, hey, there's this... I have... Uh, what drying pole that I could have put in, but nope, that was something I just didn't do in a previous one. So it's all my fault for being an idiot. Can I still dig up these things? Yes, I just want to eat that for one thing. <laughs> just, to, just make sure the lady's annoyed at me. Like she can follow me, she's an idiot. But yes, now we're in the brightness of day after who knows how long it's been. We're just going to check on Mr. Orange and then we'll actually head to where Sakura is supposed to be. I think he's doing alright, Mr. Orange. You going to do your dance again? At last. At last, the answer to all my prayers. All the village's trees have sprung back to life. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good earth. Yes, it is time for the Konohana Shuffle! I shall summon back the spirit of the Divine Tree, Konohana! Sake of Valor! But first, I must break my vow of temperance. I shall gingerly sip the sake, and soon we shall see blossoms. Hey, you'll be seeing stuff, alright, getting drunk. Old man getting drunk, this is the best video game in the world. God, that doesn't seem like normal alcohol. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Holy shit. Supercharged dance. Hey, Gramps, you okay? You got a real weird look in your eyes. Snowball, Isu, what are you about to see is the stuff of legends. Behold the secret of secrets. I give you the Korohara Shuffle. It's an interactive video game. You don't want to be watching cutscenes all day, do you? Thankfully, you don't run out of any ink at all. So hopefully you don't mess up during the thing. I almost didn't catch that one. Scratching my nose. Yo! Come on, woo! Ha! 
Oh well, who cares? What is going on with beer? That is how beards work. Big old bloom, there we go. Is that the whole sapling now? Basically. Damn, there it is. And now the whole valley's been, the whole village is being covered in beautiful tales. Ba -na 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 -na. This music's jamming as hell. Oh, hey, buddy. You are right? You okay? Oh. Hmm. Who could that be? I wonder. Ah, oh, great, Amaterasu. Sasaki, you, you're alive! And you, um, <laughs> look very nice! Little bug friend, I see you are full of spunk as always. I also owe this elderly gentleman my deepest thanks. What bravery. Mere words cannot express the depth of my gratitude. Thanks to you, I have been restored and re-energized. Gulp, Tiva Team. Of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious god of Arasu. Praise be to you. The praise! All of the praise! Amaze praise. I cannot guarantee that it will mean salvation for all of Nippon, but if you restore the Guardian sapling spread all about the land, you too will benefit from the power that results. I will remain in Kamiki, praying for your mission and success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh set of flowers protect you always. The powers that be, that is what we are. <laughs> but we will just have to continue with our mission, I suppose. Oh, what? Suddenly it's night time. Oh, good. Oh, man, what now? Well, of course, it's, it's suddenly dark, it must mean. Stars in the bright sky. It's the number one. People say it's the loneliest number, but oh well. Oh, it's a monkey. You know, maybe it's actually part of those. Oh, okay. Maybe he's part of those relatives. You know, there's the trio of monkey gods. There's another one. See, look, it must be relative. Ah, Hamatarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Long have I hidden myself here among the nature of Kamiki. But the time has come for I, Hasugami, proud member of the Hanagai trio of Flora Gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance on your grave quest. Grave quest? Hopefully it doesn't end with me in the grave. And if that's how long it'll take me to finish this. No, no. I, I, I kind of want to continue doing this, but, you know, it's really long of a game. <laughs> Holy smokes, that was Hasukami! With the water lily power, you can create lily pads on water. You can use them to cross any body of water. Any of them. Let's try it out. Come on, this way, army! Point, 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 point. Okay. We're gonna head over to where he's heading us over to. I've been eyeing that treasure chest for about there for some time. Why don't you create some lily pads there? Make them like stepping stones all the way to the island. The water lily brushing me creates lily pads on water. You've got to draw circles on it. Come on, Fedball, let me see your work moves with that brush of yours. It's simple. You just bonk. Yes, that's it. And now you have a lily pad to stand on. Hey, hey, what that smirk off your face for a while? At least we don't have to worry about getting wet anymore. I know, now that you have this new power, let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Or a little bit further. Remember the waterway leading to the forest that I told you about? That one? Nice. Outside of there. Our little Saki is back to her old peppy self. But there are still lots of guardian saplings that haven't been all blossomed. Blah, 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 slow text crawl. Nothing to change about that. Because sometimes it lets you skim through the text, other times it just 
Good job, Josh. You can jump into the air. Making it to the treasure chest. It's a sun fragment. Cool. So then I want you. So I guess it's one extra one. Part of me wants to check out what's going on over here. Actually, yeah, there is a thing that's over here. How many looted pads can we have open at once, I wonder? I say perhaps a few. I think my best bet would be to have like three at once, but let's not worry about that. I probably shouldn't do that. You need to get a little bit closer, all right? Right there. Oh, come on now. Change the camera angle so we can have a little bit zoomed out. There we go, there's one. And here we are, all right. Now we can dig in the spot, grab ourselves a clover, and bloom that eventually. There we go. A nice 200 praise. Is there anything else that's around here? Maybe there's something in the back, if I just randomly dig here. Nothing, okay. Uh, let's check on that fan menu. Because we can put some stuff into praise here. I was like, I did say I was going for a natural pouch, but... No, actually, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> You know, it, it takes a little while to think about it. Yes, as can be, if I circle over there for a single lily pad, there's only three at a time that you can have. So if I just plonk that there, I can zoom to that. And the one over there got taken away. Alright. So take this one away, alright. Thankfully, this video game is merciful with which ones to take and which ones to keep. And if you notice, when you're in the water, you can barely do anything. You can't even like jump out of it like you can in like 3D Mario games. So you have to deal with it in the best way possible, which is not dealing with it, of course. Now we can. We're just gonna zoom over to the save point real quick, and then we'll head outside to Kamiki. We're in Kamiki. Head out to Shinshu Field. Japanese place names. You may notice during uh, saving stuff that we just keep. Adding, uh, getting different backgrounds, which is cool. So that's fine. It's just a thing that I noticed. It's like, listen here, bud. You have a chance to do things. And you have, I, I, I don't even know where I was going. We do shopping, have pop. Yeah, let's sell. Some, actually, no, we don't have anything to sell. I actually want to pick up some feed bags. There we go. Got two of those, one of more of those, one more of those. We got plenty of them. And we'll find for the rest of the episode. Alright, let's head over to that marker and see what we can do. Barf, barf! <laughs> it's fun that there is a dedicated barking button, and it happens to be the button that you might be pressing the most. It's silly, but at the same time, it is pretty fun. See this area over here, we can press the X button to actually fill in better. Come on. Just about. There we go. And then we bloom the area, gain a little bit more praise and reveal some tapirs or little pig bears. I'm not sure exactly what they are. Listen, I know some animals, but not all animals. I know we are a wolf, but you know, it's difficult to really tell who everyone is in this video game. <laughs> or maybe there are some other creeps that we'll run into eventually. Who knows? I mean, you can feed horses. Horses are just fine. Let's go over to... Oh, it's over there! Alright, that lake. So, we're not in the right place. And I, I could have sworn, like, I saw this, and I thought that is a thing that we can bloom, but it's already something that we have bloomed. That's dumb. Actually dig in the hole. Thank you, army. Excellent detection there. Then again, it is, it's using a joy card to draw things. There have been like some people that have been saying, you know, it's not the greatest thing in the world to use, but eh, you know, whatever. Let's do some battling at least. Get some battles in this episode. Boink. Do some fighting. Smack two to three and four. And another one to like everyone another team of fang. That's great. So uh, let's talk about something interesting 
that I came across or came into the possession of recently, and I, I believe I posted this on Twitter as well, on the day of my 10th anniversary, because it happened that day. Uh, was it? Yeah, it was. And it was that... Wait, no, it didn't. Never mind. I, I, don't, I don't remember when exactly it happened. But it was a few days ago from now. But I came into the possession of a very nice figurine of my man Kukichiroma. And he sat on my shelf and he's going to be looking at me all the time. I appreciate that guy being there. <laughs> Damn, look at these buildings. Suddenly they're here. Didn't even think that there were a building in here. That's a, a generous amount more praise. Cool. What is going on with these buildings? Nameless man's kiln. It's a big old kiln for fire and pottery. Yes, somebody works here. I bet they can make some sweet pottery to kiln like this. It's a nameless man over there. I guess we just saved his business. And there's two kilns, I suppose. He's killing it. Herbert, Herbert, Herbert. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us head over. We'll eventually be heading over. What are you doing over here? Ow, wow, wow. What's going on? Eve of the Danger Dangan Express never gives up. I'm falling. I can't get up. Must be a curse. Express messenger, Eater. I don't have time for falling up, but people are waiting for mail. Those monsters must have set some kind of trap for me to chill. Darn it, I knew I should have brought a traveler's charm. So, hey, Pooch. There's a traveler's charm we got there, isn't it? I thought I had one of those. Oh, yes! I feel so light. My body feels as light as a feather. Thanks, Pooch, you saved me. Can't hang about. Gotta catch up on my deliveries. Temporaries! We're gonna get an extra pallet before you know it. Zoom! Look at him, Zoom. Oh, and there's a bombable place over there, too. Let's see what's over there. So all we need to do is circle him back. And maybe it's not exactly there, but you can push it like a ball. Because it is what it is. I don't think you get damaged by it, but it is a thing to keep in mind. The next is some slip. And also something that we can leave offerings at. I wonder if we can actually blow it up. Just out of morbid curiosity. Eventually I get it to work. When my circle is good. Can we blow this up? We'll see if it damages us anyway. It doesn't! And nothing happened. Good, good, good. Boink. So we know that as the truth. We cannot do anything important. Oh yeah, I, I, I see what we need to do now, because what we need to do now is boink and boink, screw the birds. Who needs praise from birds when you've got better birds to have praise from? The better bird, my favorite type of bird. That has something over there, I was thinking there's something over there, but there isn't. Unless we get interrupted, there is this over here too, that I seem to have noticed. Hey, hey, zoom out. I, don't, I just tested that if you could like change camera angles whilst in the brush mode, but you can pan the camera around, yes, but you can't zoom the camera in and out. So that answers that question. Let's do another explosion dance. I would have been surprised if that actually did count, but it didn't. Boom. And it's Coral! Coral Fragment! Hunk of coral set to have been dropped off in the Dragon Palace. Wow, the Dragon Palace. Must have been a very long while to ways away. So we eat it. Oh, there's a little frog noise it made. You might have been able to have heard it, but it takes a bit to notice it. I should slow down a little. Jump on the lily pad. Woof. There we go. Yeah, I know it's funny me saying woof. I should probably be careful with my ink usage. I mean, technically, the best way to refill all my ink is to waste the ink now and run out of ink, basically, so that all four inks recharge at once. But I don't think it's a smart idea, so I am going to wait a little while longer for each and every one of these so that we can actually get to where we need to go eventually. Oh, we're going all the way down through here as well, so that is excellent. I have a feeling it's a transition, so let me through. Transition me, baby. Or not. But there is something over here. Ah! 
<laughs> Sound of a bird. I, I feel like I've heard that bird cawing in like multiple different mediums and I'm not quite sure if it's actually a thing that is part of Japanese culture or not. But you know, we can blow this up and act it is a place to go. Nice, transition time. Agata Forest. Huh. This place is covered in curse. The curse zone expanded into the forest, and I thought even would shudder in areas with so much grass and trees. There must really be some curse the way it's changed the forest. Some curse. Wow, that is very cursed. Indeed. Look, there's a place to rest here. I thought travelers used to use it back when the ferry used to run. Oh, well, you know. Maybe some days you feel like a ferry, other days you feel like you need to take a break from the ferry, I suppose. Now where, oh where, can we go that isn't cursed? Down here, of course. Oh yeah, you can't run off ledges unless you jump down. Fine! You know, just a simple thing to keep in mind. Oh, is there stuff down here too? Nope, that's a cursed area. Get me out of there, I don't want anything to do with that. There is the same mirror over here though, that's good. And also, some kind of water spout, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? What the hell is doing here in this cave? How can anyone live here with a cursed zone spreading around? How could? Also, what is going on with this thing? Can we bloom it? I did let go there. Jerry Cotton detection is great. Oh, what? Oh, it changed time of day. Okay. Make me worry. Bomb it. Actually bomb it. Bomb it. Is bomb gonna do anything? It might, it might not. It didn't! Okay. And there's... Chests that are on fire! Can we examine it? What's wrong with this treasure chest? I bet there's some really sweet stuff in there. There might be. Let's save real quick. Into a different save file, because I made the mistake just a few moments ago. Believe you me. Head into this house. See what's in this house. Wow, this place is crazy. A stray bee! Playing all the scattered beads gets better special reward. Not this time, buddy. I don't want to deal with stray bees. I like how we can still look inside the map, even though it means nothing. Point. Hey, nice. Four peaches! Take that skull. Captain Skull. Oh, that thing brought me over to there, because I was an idiot. Because you can't change the camera angle in here. And I'm going in the same direction. What is this? Oh, whatever it is, it, 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 it refilled my ship. Cool. Let's head over bash this thing. Because that seems like the best thing to do once you actually hit it. If we can even hit it. There you go. And now we can listen. Madame Fawn! <laughs> You've come, White Wolf, and you look troubled. You may call me Madame Four. I read bones to see the future. I knew you would come. I saw it in a vision. Bone reader, Madame Four. It looks like the world outside is a great chaos. This is not to say that it was not for any essence that happened. However, this year is special. This is the hundredth year since Nagin's year into his adventure. You saw the enormous curse there in your way here, did you not? Land rendered barren, all who approach tainted by darkness. There's only one creature possesses the power to control this Orochi. Even so, the rate at which it spreads, incredible. The curse can only be lifted by restoring the guardian saplings. Perhaps you will encounter one hidden here in Nagata Forest. That's enough idle talk for now. I'm trying to run a business here. Like I told you, I'm before the other. The bones reveal all. If you have money, I can even tell you the future. Wolf, interesting. Yeah, why not? Oh, how could I just listen to what the bones have to say, friend? What? It's coming to me! I can see it! In the dense and leafy forest, inside a cave sealed by a rock, a part of the wood sprite waits to be revived. Waits for a holy bond to break the cracked rock! I can't tell you anymore for now. You have to seek out the truth yourself. Ha ha ha. But I have full prediction! So wait. Wrong button. Can we just... Go into... Here. Maybe not travel... Is it travel pay? Part of the... No, it isn't. Logbook. Fortunes! Oh, good. We can just revive these at any time. Review these at any time. That's cool. 
The curse can only be lifted as a persona guy is happening to you. Get up one hit and you're not gonna force. Okay. Let's see what we can do. If we can't do anything at all. By leaving this house. So that's a place that we can bomb. Just need to figure out where it is. Bar. I swear I'm not trying anything special. What is going on with these specific areas? I feel like... There is something here. It, 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 the lady pad is physics. Oh well. So somewhere around here is a place that we need to explode. Just need to find out where. Perhaps it is. Up here. Maybe. This is actually quite a big area to do things in. I think I got a bit too close to that demon scroll. Hmm. Is it truly anything about- oh god! Wait a minute, curse! Oh, is it because I'm on a different level? It was! I was like, okay, what was going on there? Like, the map changed, but nah, it's just because we're on a different level. A feedback for her, it was cool. I'm gonna check that thing again, I need to. Cave sealed by a rock. Is there a rock that we can actually do things with? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, there is that rock that I tried to blow up just then. Okay. Fine. Let's just have some more combat in here just to make sure things don't go too funny. And hopefully things are fine. Smack you too. Because I know you would be interested in that. Take that. Another fang. If I can actually pick it up. I don't even know where it is. I can't see. There was a tree there. That's what it was. Point, point, oh, okay. One, two, skip a few, 99, 100. A gourd, okay. I sliced up with some grass and came out with a gourd. How fun. One, two, three. What if I do that? What if I actually cherry bomb? Why didn't that do any damage? It's a bomb. Exploded there. I guess it just didn't make contact with the guy. Whatever, you know. One, two, three, one, two. I'm not even sure what this, uh, these yellow imps' true weakness is. Like, it would make sense if it was just like, take a bomb, blow up a little. Like that. Let's go. Who cares about time? I mean, we get bonus yen by doing good, but, you know, what does it matter? Hmm. Maybe it's this rock. Nah, this rock means nothing. What was he able to explode anyway? Once we figure this out, I am. Our, nope! Not finding another battle! I'm leaving. I'm out. Let me leave. Let me leave hardcore. So we're in the dense forest. Per actually, I think an idea is to head to... Yep, okay. Hold it right there for a ball. You want to leave already? After all the trouble we had getting here. I know this place gives off a bad vibe, but let's explore some more. <laughs> Fine. That's it for it. Now you know how to be patient. Let's explore every inch of this place. So there must be some place around here. Not too sure though. Maybe if I blow up the waiting place. Get waiting, buddy. <laughs> this game shouldn't have given me bombs to blow up with. It's my fault for believing in the bombs being the answer to everything. So it must be some place where a bomb is needed to blow up or whatever. Good, we're in a nice place. <laughs> oh, the time has come. We can't get over to that waterfall, can we? There's no way we can get over to that waterfall. This cursed area is a bit too cursed for me, but I want to explore it anyway. I'm running out of ink. Ah! Ah! Ink! Oh, I didn't even realize I had a, a meter. I thought, oh, it's just draining me of ink. I can leave, that's fine. But no, 
There did seem to be something up there though, but I feel like that is not the place we need to actually be. So I'm going to head southward and see where else we can be. Not there, of course. There is, see like, yeah, I didn't even realize that that one thing is important. Yep, we can slide along here, right? Is it along here? It might be along here. No, of course, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an idiot. Look, I'm an idiot, dumb. The map shows and everything that there is things this way. Like an idiot, I am. Through the waterfall, go. Leave now. I, what is going on with them? Come on, here we go. Bomb here. This will be it. Just a single sapling. This should cure the land of everything. Let's see this. Na 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 na. Hope the Capcom doesn't take this. Apparently, they took the last time this thing happened when we were back in that one place in episode 5. Oh well, who cares? You know, this space looks pretty interesting though. I mean, it's a, it's a very gloomyish forest, but it looks fairly interesting. Explored full. And it's so great that we get to explore. It's my true lot in life, to explore every nook and cranny that exists. One, two, three, four. I declare a funny wall. And there's, of course, there's a chest right in front of it. Birdie praise! I think we feed those, yeah, things. Oh, devout beads, okay. You need to find an instrument guarded by a sapling, eh? Wow, well, Saki's gonna spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. The monster is going to try to get you any way they can, so you need to equip a good divine instrument to practice with it. But remember, there's a more simply equipping them. They can be equipped as a sub weapon or a main weapon, or weapons effect, depending on how it's equipped. You can even put up some secret techniques of your sub weapons. Even after you're a hundred year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not too bright, but no sweat, nothing thinking involved. Just try to equip that new divine instrument as a way main weapon. Okie dokie. And you can be a sub weapon, I suppose. How many grows will be capable of rapid attacks on a crypto sub weapon? Oh well. Got the hang of it? Well, let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Well, it acts as a shield upon a crypto sub weapon. If you're under attack, please extra go with it. You should test it out on the monsters in the area. Oh, one more thing. You remember what Saki said, don't you? The sacred tree and Kamiki village will bear a guardian fruit each time a guardian sapling survives. Make sure to stop by Saki's tree whenever you return to Kamiki. Okie dokie. Hello, my fellow rabbit friends. Good to see you, and good to feed you, even though I'm wearing the shield again. I only just equipped the beads, but you know, it'll be interesting to try out the beads, see how well it is. Maybe it's cool, maybe it's not. It's 300 exactly. Oh well, <laughs> I thought I'd bitten something, but no. Astral pouch time. Nice. So we have an extra life. I, I'm not gonna worry about getting out one of those. I think the next thing I'm gonna upgrade is just getting more ink pots. Because that seems like a very valuable thing to have. Especially in a game like this. Come on now. And actually bury your head of sand and... Wow. Excellent. Did I count? That one! And, I mean, it's... Like, the Joy-Con ending is fine and alright, but... Sometimes it just isn't. I mean, like, look at, look at this, I just think it's supposed to be right here, on the map. But I don't know if that's an hour or something, but whatever, dude. We're well, just gonna head back out. Oh yeah, the camera angle changed. <laughs> How silly of me to assume that nothing that worked. Actually, leave. Thank you. Jump out. Let's head back to the Madam Bones. Maybe there's something over there. Or not. Toots? Toots! This place is turning green all of a sudden. How weird. Huh. Hark! The call of the heavens! The earth! The sea! They summon me forth to defeat evil! Waka the gods get to man is here! Bonjour! 
Tile Master Waka. Hey, what's what this guy's deal? What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. You look kind of weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. Hey, think you're so special way up there, huh? Get down here and fight us like a man. Talk face to... Wait, did he say crimson shading? Can you see Ami's true form? How delicate. This guy, is he even real? Oh, okay. Travis touchdown mode. Hey, he drew a sword! We. Oui. This is how I get my point across, pun intended. The moment the cursed zone started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword Tsukuyomi, fully into Kamiki Village, and sealed the entrance with a huge rock. You guys know anything about that? This guy gives me the creeps. Better keep your eye on him. Huh? Ami, uh, uh, you're getting all worked up again. Magnifique. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get an earful of my beloved sword. Behold, pillow talk. Let's rock, baby. Walker, I suppose. Didn't expect a robot spike to show up and do shit to me, but apparently this is what we're doing. At least we have our multi-hit attacks now. Whoop. So that's, uh, that was me pressing X. That was an excellently blocked thing, but apparently I'm still terrible. Two, three. I'm gonna power slash him. One, once I can. There you go. I mean, he's immune, but... Oh, pfft. I should pay attention to the shield button. Damn, that worked pretty really well. Oh god. I'm suddenly threatened in fight. Ah, Jesus. I should actually worry a little more. Please. Oh, whatever works. I don't know, dude. Get me out of the water. Then he was weak. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, okay, yeah, I should actually be careful. Because I might perish. Where is the health? I don't know where the health is, but I'm probably going to die soon. What? Okay, I guess the, the actual shielding is weird and different. Oh, that was close. Nice. That was very, very close. It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power, Matarasu. That's enough for now. Too late now. You're the one who picked a fight with us. Hey, wait a minute. You know this guy on me? <laughs> well, that was pretty tactless. Excuse moi, baby. You see, I was looking into that cursed zone that struck this area. It consumed all in its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. Uh, Orochi? Oh, Dora, jeez. Do not honor the name without reason. That alone could curse the weak mind. Orochi was slain a hundred years ago by Nyagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I got. It. You know the cave in the middle of the Chinchu Field, or the lake over there in Chinchu Field, you know, over there. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing Sukiyomi. The beast's evil has caused a cursed zone to cover the sea's lands. I never thought the sacred sword could be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in this capital. <laughs> no idea what that was. It seems things are afoot that even I did not pro pro prophesize. Where well, are you, pretty boy? We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. Now Archie's gonna be mince me when we're through with him. So you're the ones who revived the trees in this area. 
But a lot of times pass since Archie's return. You better pick up the pace, mushery. What? I'm sorry to say our battle just now was a big disappointment. It truly was. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated the Archie long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your hundred year slumber. That's enough. Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamiki. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. You know. I foresee a log and big fruit. You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must dash. The work for prophets never done. Au revoir, baby. Flight. He truly took off. Walker's a burb. What a freak! Who the heck does he think he is? He thinks he's Walker. Hey, wake up, my mommy. We got work to do, my mommy. Mama, 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 tursu. This game's got music. It's sometimes pretty cool and sometimes pretty cool. Yes! That is exactly what I expected. Uh... <laughs> Oh god, I'm still in the, the cherished state. If I die before I wake. Hell yeah! A spirit globe L. Humanity's favorite restored three units of silver energy. That was well worth it in that one number of time. Just to completely revive right there. Only the one? Okay, that's fine. As long as I'm still alive by the end of things. Pick that up. There you go. There we go. Oh, there's a ball pin. Can we bloom it? We sure can! It can take the Traveler's Charm, too. Trax Traveler's Naked. Hooray! But considering we just had that boss fight and all that garbage that just happened, I feel like now is a good time to actually end things off here. So we're gonna go to the save mirror, press the save button, and that'll be it! From Agatha Forest. I shall see you in the next episode of Okami with whatever we're doing. Hopefully it's fun. Hopefully it's no sudden boss fights. Whatever happens, happens. See you then. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.